Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment saying thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? So today's product I want to share with you is a nice little laptop by a company called Apollo Side. This is the box that's going to come in once you order it. Once you open it up, you are going to get, of course, the little charging cable here. You are going to get a little user manual that tells you all the specs that we're about to cover a lot of those. And then you're going to get the laptop itself. So as you can see, this is a nice little compact laptop. Um, I personally find this perfect if you have kids that are in school and need a laptop for school, or you need a quick little laptop to just kind of do things online um, that's maybe not like a huge workhorse. This thing is perfect for that. Um, it's nice and compact. It's lightweight, so it's easy to throw in a backpack or a bag if you're carrying it around. Uh, it's decently thin, as you can see here, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. It is also running the Windows 11 Home uh, operating system. So as far as the screen, it is a 15.6 uh, FHD display. So as you can see here, it has a nice size display. It also has a uh, five millimeter bezel. So it does have a little bit of a bezel, but it's not overtly large, which is a nice feature of it. Um, that F HD display, what that basically means, it is 1080p uh, resolution, so if you're wondering about that. So let's cover some of the specs of this particular uh, computer and model. It does have 12 gigabits of RAM, and it includes a 512 SSD uh, drive. That SSD drive is nice because there's no moving parts, and it basically is hardier uh, if you are storing files on here and it has a nice um, size to it. Uh, it does run an Intel Celeron N chip uh, and it is a quad core uh, as far as the processor itself. Um, as far as the battery life, so it has a 5000 mAh battery. That's going to get you about six, maybe eight hours out of battery use. That would be my only complaint on this computer is it is a little light on the battery, but a lot of my times when I'm using a laptop, I have them plugged in, uh, especially like my kiddo and he goes to school and stuff like that during the school, he has his computers plugged in. Uh, so that may not be a big issue, but if you do need, um, it, it does have that six to eight hours, so it should get you through almost the whole entire day. Uh, let's go over the ports on the side here. So on the one side you have um, a micro SD slot next to it you have where you will plug in um, some headphones if you need to uh, and then you're going to have that uh, USB 3.2 um, plug. On the other side you are going to also have another USB plug you're going to have the spot where you are going to plug in the charging cable. And then you are going to have a mini HDI port. So if you want to hook this up to an external monitor, uh, you can plug in right there with a mini HDMI port. Um, on the bottom here, you will see it has a, a nice long linear bar at, for the fan, which will allow it to disperse heat. I will say the fan is quite powerful. You can really hear it ramp up. One of my complaints is of it, when it does ramp fully up, it does have a little bit of more of a squeal, but that's not very often. That's only if you're doing like heavy duty processor um, intense stuff that it will get that fan really, really going. But it is nice the fact that that fan is um, kind of like a variable. So it's not running high and making a ton of sound uh, when you're not using utilizing it a lot. Uh, this laptop also does have a 2.4 or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, uh, and then it also has a um, 4.2 Bluetooth connection. So if you need to connect it to uh, your keyboard, or if you want to connect it to uh, any speakers or headphones or anything like that, it can utilize that because you have a ton of the Bluetooth devices. But overall, like I said, if you are in the market for a great little laptop that is uh, perfect for kind of traveling, uh, doing smaller tasks, uh, giving to your children for school. 
I think this one is totally worth checking out. I do really recommend it. Uh, it's worked really, really well for us. If there's something that I haven't covered that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.